Probando, un, dos, tres, probando. Whatever. Okay. I'm gonna have a seat probably. Yeah, just, uh... Where do you want me to sit? Take one. Please welcome Hispanic Heritage Foundation President and CEO, Antonio Tijerino. Good evening, everyone, y buenas noches. On behalf of the Hispanic Heritage Foundation Board of Directors, led by my brother and our chairman, Emanuel Pleitas, on behalf of our hardworking staff, our co-host organizations, and our sponsors, it is our great privilege to welcome you to the 33rd, but first, Virtual Hispanic Heritage Awards Ceremony. While it would be wonderful to see all of you in person at the fabulous Kennedy Center, I'm eternally grateful to PBS, our sponsors, and all of you for allowing us to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with all of America, although we are Latino year-round, con ganas. By going virtual, we're able to share our celebration of Latinx vision, accomplishment, and culture with everyone, not just a thousand of you in a theater. It's important that we keep ourselves and our families safe, so mask up, everyone. As we move forward as a nation and as a community navigating the complex challenges presented by the insidious COVID-19 pandemic, the racial unrest, and yes, Black Lives Matter. And hopefully, being able to keep our focus on our civic duties of voting in the census, the Hispanic Heritage Foundation continues to serve by aggressively adapting our programs to the needs of our community. From our weekly virtual community charla series to educating our youth at home, including teaching 100,000 students to code in English and in Spanish, to conducting leadership trainings through the Loft Institute in various fields, to our signature Youth Awards program, which launches next month for the 23rd year, to our Loft Source, where we prep and place Latinx talent into positions with Fortune 500 companies to ensure we have a workforce that represents America. Speaking of representing America, I would like to recognize the leadership of the Friends of the American Latino Museum in getting us one step closer to the creation of a Smithsonian National American Latino Museum with the recent passage of legislation in the House. It's important we share 500 years, not just of Latino history and stories, but American history and stories. Our time is right now, and we can't afford to be patient. El futuro es ahora, and we need to lean on our youth to move forward. We've even had to reimagine tonight's Hispanic Heritage Awards. This year's PBS broadcast allowed us to go to them instead of them having to come to us, which provided a more intimate connection with the honorees and performers. The results are stunning, compelling, and inspirational, and you'll be able to witness it on PBS stations at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 7 Central Time, and 5 Pacific Time. Please check your local PBS listings or stream the awards on pbs.org. This year's class of honorees reflect the times we're in while peeking into the past and maintaining hope for the future. Please welcome the 2020 Hispanic Heritage Awardees. For Vision, Bad Bunny. For Business, Jessica Alba. For the Arts, Selena Gomez. With the Heroes Award, we honor America's farm workers. With the Legend Award, who else? Linda Ronstadt. For Inspira, Sebastian Yatra. And with the special ally recognition, civil rights leader, John Lewis. Never has it been more important to demonstrate the tremendous value our community provides our great country. And this year's honorees demonstrate that value through their art, their work, their activism, and their service. I would like to thank our partners for stepping up at a time of crisis when many are stepping back. Without them, we not only wouldn't have tonight's 33rd Hispanic Heritage Awards, but we wouldn't be able to carry on our year-round mission focused on education, the workforce, leadership, and culture. Thank you sincerely, not just for your support, but for your belief in our organization and our community. Our presenting sponsor for the eighth year, Target. Our broadcast partner for the third year, Nationwide. Our new diamond sponsor, TikTok. Our legend sponsor, AARP. Our official airline for the 20th year, Southwest Airlines. The Yasoy Award sponsor, Instagram. Our official credit card, MasterCard. Our official wireless carrier, T-Mobile. 
our official banking partner, Wells Fargo, silver sponsor, Coca-Cola, and our copper sponsors, H-Code Media, Catholic Relief Services, S. Tiempo, Tito's Vodka, the Friends of the National Museum of the American Latino, Verizon, and Pharma. Thank you all so much for your sincere and relentless commitment to the Latino community. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our presenting sponsor, Target, for being there for our organization, our community, and for me personally. As an aside, Leisha Ward, thank you for letting me lean on you all these years in so many ways. Your friendship means the world. Diversity and inclusivity are imperative to Target's business, and inclusivity is one of their key company values. To hear more, welcome our friend and Target's Vice President of Government Affairs, Isaac Reyes. Hello, my name is Isaac Reyes, and I'm the Vice President of Government Affairs at Target. Welcome to the 33rd Annual Hispanic Heritage Awards. Target is excited to be the presenting sponsor of these awards for the eighth year in a row. We are so proud to be a part of this program, which honors the accomplishments of the Latino community across the nation, especially those working on the front lines during this pandemic. I'm especially honored that the Hispanic Heritage Foundation has chosen to recognize farm workers from across the country with the Heroes Award. As a son and grandson of farm workers from California, I've always known that they are heroes. I've always known that those that toil in the fields, that pick, plant, and pack the food that feeds America are heroes. And even now, during a global pandemic, they continue to provide for all Americans. I know there are generations of farm workers and families that, like me, are so appreciative that their mothers and fathers, their tios and their tias, abuelas, brothers and sisters, that either still work in the fields or spent decades doing backbreaking work are being honored tonight with this prestigious award. So on behalf of Target, congratulations to all of tonight's honorees. Thank you for reminding all Americans of the incredible accomplishments of the Latino community. Being from two different places, it's not a tug of war, it's a gift, it's a blessing. Growing up as a young girl, I was very judgmental of myself because I didn't fit this portrait of what I thought back then was beauty. I hope that people find themselves within the art that I'm making and it empowers them to move forward and take some chances on themselves because of who they are. I wanted to raise my children to understand no matter what your skin tone is, no matter what your hair texture is, we're all beautiful. Thank you, Isaac. Brother, I know it hit home to honor the heroic service of the farm workers this year. We're also grateful to our broadcast sponsor, Nationwide, who are not only supporting tonight's awards, but also our Code as a Second Language program and our year-round series of financial education charlas and podcasts. Thank you, Lou, Lori, and Hope, and the team. And now to tell us more about Nationwide's commitment, please welcome Chief Marketing Officer Ramon Jones. Good evening. I'm Ramon Jones, Chief Marketing Officer for Nationwide. Nationwide is proud to be the broadcast partner of the 33rd Hispanic Heritage Awards, helping to celebrate Hispanic vision, accomplishments, and cultural pride with all of America on PBS. Nationwide has a long-standing history of giving back to communities, especially when they need us most. We're helping those impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as with weather events across the country. We've also focused on social justice, ensuring that our associates and our communities feel included and safe, and by supporting those organizations that put our words into action. We are truly a company that cares. Thank you to Tony Tijerino and his outstanding team for their leadership of this event. Tonight, it is an honor to highlight trailblazers from the Hispanic community representing business, culture, politics, and more. Their hard work and dedication is inspiring and we thank them for their commitment to creating lasting impact. On behalf of Nationwide, I'd like to congratulate this year's Business Award honoree, Jessica Alba. As a world-renowned actress, the founder of The Honest Company, an activist, and a generous philanthropist, she is committed to making a difference for others. Jessica, thank you for all you do, and congratulations on this outstanding achievement. Thank you, Ramon. We are also proud to welcome our new sponsor, TikTok, which has exploded into one of the leading platforms for people, particularly Latino youth, like all three of my kids, to express their creativity, culture, and activism. I want to mention science as well, because my daughter is doing TikTok experiments, making a mess all over my house, but exploring science thanks to TikTok. 
To tell us more about why TikTok is proud to support this year's program, we have an amazing special video from one of their creators. Good evening, everyone. My name is Stacey S. Apodaca, also known as BoomFans on TikTok, and I am one of the thousands of Hispanic and Latinx creators who found a home on TikTok. Welcome to the 33rd Annual Hispanic Heritage Awards. I am so honored that TikTok asked me to represent them as the exclusive sponsor of the vision category. As a global platform filled with diverse, creative, and passionate people, including mi gente, familia Latina, TikTok is home for many Americans. Personally, as a Latina creator, TikTok has provided me with an outlet to share my Mexican culture and to connect with other Latina creators in authentic and meaningful ways. I'm so thankful to be a part of a community that inspires creativity and embraces self-expression. On TikTok, the histories, cultures, and contributions of Hispanic and Latinx Americans of past and present are honored and celebrated every day. La Familia Latina on TikTok is a powerhouse. We built an amazing and strong Latinx community and TikTok continues to amplify and support the community, ensuring they are putting actions behind their words. As a member of TikTok's Diversity Collective, continuing to elevate and celebrate Hispanic and Latinx voices on TikTok and in broader communities is of utmost importance to me and I'm thrilled to be able to continue partnering with TikTok on that. As a personal fan of his music and a TikTok creator who has actually featured his music in my videos on behalf of TikTok, it is with immense honor that we present Puerto Rican musician and social activist Bad Bunny with the Vision Award. Congratulations to all of the honorees. Thank you for your immeasurable contributions to our community and culture. We are grateful to have you as trailblazing role models. For the third year in a row, Instagram and the Hispanic Heritage Foundation are partnering to recognize Latinx creators that have been an inspiration within their communities on Instagram. The hashtag YoSoy effort further highlights our joint focus on providing impactful platforms for Latinx voices to be able to express, understand, and come together around our complex identities and key issues, including voting, which is critical for our community. Feel free to express your identities on Instagram using hashtag YoSoy while we learn more about this year's winners of the hashtag YoSoy award. When I think of identity, I just think of constantly evolving. It's about making sense of the world and also finding out and discovering how I exist in the world. Identity is not fixed. Your identity is who you are, is what makes you comfortable. I use my platform to provide education and create community. I want future generations and current generations of my family to live in a world where mental health is not stigmatized. I use my social media to raise awareness around voting rights, police brutality, gun violence, and the intersections between the African American community, Americans, and the Afro Latino community. It's about the opportunity to tell other generations that their experiences are beyond valid. They're also capable of changing the world just with their experiences and stories. So my advice to you is be yourself, keep an open mind, and contribute because your opinion is needed. To be an ally for us is to uplift our communities and help in unifying us versus creating more division. We are not a monolith and there are many different races that comprise Latinx identity. And so I think it starts within the community. Just stop, pause, and listen to Latinx folks. Gracias to Instagram and the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for this award. I'm honored, thrilled, and excited to continue this work in destigmatizing mental health in the Latinx community. I want to thank my community and my family for all of their teachings and for the honor of serving them. I want to thank Instagram and the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for this humbling opportunity. Hey, I want to thank Instagram, the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for this award and for all of the followers and people who follow Gravaronas and support Gravaronas. I'm so humbled. Thank you. I want to thank you all for this award. I specifically want to give a shout out to my lineage, my mom, my grandmother, my great grandmother. And this is really for the Black Latin Americans. Thank you.
I want to say thank you to Instagram and the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for this award. I am really grateful to be receiving this and I'm proud of my background. And I also want to say thank you to my family and everyone who's been supporting my work for the past couple of years. Thank you. As communities all over the world have been impacted by the coronavirus pandemic, black and Hispanic communities have been hit the hardest, testing our resilience, our patience, and our faith. The Hispanic Heritage Foundation is pleased to continue our partnership with the Catholic Relief Services to ensure that as Latinos in America, we're more deeply connected to Latin America, where many of our families still live as we strive to bring light into this dark time. Let's learn more about their work, followed by a blessing by Father David Garcia. Across Latin America and the Caribbean, we are no strangers to adversity. We have been tested by storms, encountered hunger, feared for our safety, and sometimes we have been forced to leave our homes. Today we face a new challenge. We have lost family and friends, lives and livelihoods. Yet despite these trials, we have not lost hope. We have not lost faith. COVID-19 may test our resolve, but it reminds us of our common humanity and the need to love, support, and have faith in one another. We can overcome hardship and build a brighter future by coming together, to teach and learn even when schools are closed, to share food even if we can't break bread together, to help heal even though we cannot touch. Catholic Relief Services and the Hispanic Heritage Foundation are committed in our care for the people of the Americas. Because compassion knows no bounds. Love knows no bounds. Faith knows no bounds. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for this Latino family, especially during this time of separation, isolation, and struggle. Let us be reminded that our humanity and dignity unite us and give us strength. We pray for justice and condemn the hate and indifference that divide us. Let us work for a more just and equitable society that welcomes people of all races, nationalities, creeds, ethnicities, and gender and sexual orientations. We affirm that we are all children of the same Creator. We pray for health and that we may care for our world, the environment, and each other as we continue to face a global pandemic, climate change, and illness in our lives. We pray for healing and that we may seek opportunities to bridge divisions in our world, for migrants cast aside and immigrants who do not receive welcome. Lastly, we pray for hope and the hard work that is required when one aspires for a better future for all. Let us be a sign of hope, a sign that while we may be distant, our hope is as interconnected as our dignity and our voice. All this we ask in your name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Okay, so as we close this segment, I want to give you even more reason to tune in. We are thrilled with this year's lineup of performers who will pay tribute to our honorees, our community, and our culture through remarkable performances we filmed all over the world. Performers include our host and 2020 Inspira awardee Sebastian Yatra from Colombia, Jesse Reyes from Canada, Sech from Panama, as well as a special tribute to Congressman John Lewis from Calma Carmona, shining a light from Puerto Rico. And we will close with a special musical tribute to our legend awardee, Linda Ronstadt, which will feature Latina singers Carla Morrison, Gabby Moreno, Joy Huerta of Jesse and Joy, Lupita Infante, who is the granddaughter of another legend, Pedro Infante, and La Marisol of La Santa Cecilia, all backed by one of my favorite bands, The Mavericks. And to give us a sneak peek of one of the performances and to remind us of just how indestructible our community is, please welcome Flor de Toloache, who will also perform on the PBS broadcast, which will start in a few minutes on your local PBS station or streaming on PBS.org. And prepare to be inspired.
Eres flor que germina, mujer valiente y divina. Dominas el destino, eso es fortaleza femenina. Logras lo imposible porque eres indestructible. Logras lo imposible, sigue siendo indestructible. por dentro, ahora es tu momento, eres luz, eres vida, con posibilidades infinitas, logras lo imposible porque eres indestructible, logras lo imposible, sigue siendo indestructible. Porque eres indestructible, logras lo imposible, sigue siendo indestructible. Thank you again for joining us, and be sure to watch the 33rd Hispanic Heritage Awards on PBS and streaming on pbs.org. Check your local listings. Mm -hmm.